No, it just started. So, yeah, I mean, and you know what, we... Sorry guys, uh, we really don't know where to go at first. Here, boy. He thinks he should be sitting up here with us. Aww. But you can't sit up here with us, boy. You can't sit up here. Nope. He knows I'm looking at him on the phone or something. Mark wants us to talk about this crazy ass trip. <laughs> it's not crazy. It's going to help a lot of people. Yep. <clears throat> you don't go once and don't ever go back. <laughs> it's not. You've seen one rock, you've seen them all. No, it's beautiful, guys. So no, it's beautiful, but like I said, go once and. Okay. So, hi. Back and go fishing. hi guys, welcome back to Will and March blog, blog, vlog channel, and we're here to talk about our fifth year anniversary trip, and uh, we're here to talk about how you plan it, where to go, um, it's, it's just a spot where we went, and hopefully, a spot is a place, a place, yeah, yeah, we went to a few spots, we went to a bunch of places, we went to a bunch of places, and we will share them to you, sure so do. just in case that you guys wanted to plan <coughs> some kind of trip like this. So, without further ado, let's start on what month you're supposed to go. Like, well, I have this fifth year anniversary well, itinerary. A good month to go that for us was in October. Yes, in October. I mean, the weather we had, we hit the weather perfect out there. I mean, we went out west. We went to Vegas. Flew to Vegas. Then we drove from Vegas to Kanab, Utah, um, and that was, we got there on the 15th, I think. Yes. So yeah, we were there for 10 days. We started our trip October 5th, and we left October 15th. That's so, all together. So we're still hot in Vegas. So we stayed in Vegas a couple couple nights, um, hit some good buffets, seafood buffets, where there's seafood, there's a damn everything out of the buffet. I mean, it was like yeah. and everything. We'll, we'll show you that later on. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like... It was, it was good. Expensive, but it was good. Yes. Yeah. So the 5th, October 5th, that's our first day. And what we did is, you know, I planned this whole trip since February. We got up early and got to the airport in Orlando. <laughs> and come to find out, our flight was like an hour or so later than what we expected. Yeah. So make sure. So we sat in the airport for like three hours or so, too. Yeah. So make sure when you checked in. Yeah. So make sure when you checked in, you know what, what time is your... Life. She said they changed it, but I don't They did. Because the she, first, the first time that when I booked it, it was 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning that our flight was supposed to. Morning at 6. Yeah, morning at 6. I planned it in February because, you know, the gas prices started to go up because of inflation. And, uh, I, and other reasons. And other about. reasons. So what I did is um, I booked through hotwire.com and did a vacation bundle. Uh, what that vacation bundle has is your flight and car rental. Yeah. It was pretty, you know, cheap, I think, because well, it was the two of us. Okay. And by the way, we we went to quite a few places and we just ended up having a car and we didn't need a full drive or anything because everything was paid that we went on. I mean, it was, you didn't need an SUV that's jacked up or anything. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Nissan Altima, the, the gas mileage is really good and drove fine. Yeah. And We're not as adventurous as we look like. All the places that we went really didn't require uh, a four-wheel drive. Yeah. I mean, it was a two-wheel drive. It, it, the roads, roads were accessible. Now, being adventurous, we, we could have we could have hiked to places that we couldn't have hiked. Well, we wanted to see the views. Yeah, we're, so. from, we're from Florida, so it's like we're at probably I don't know what the elevation here is like maybe two hundred feet, if that. Yeah, two hundred feet. 
So we were out there in places that were almost 9,000 feet. So yeah. not, not, as in, not as much air out there as there is here. That's oxygen, right. oxygen anyway, I should say. So we're here to talk about what to bring, what to pack, and what are the places that we went to just briefly and how much is the expenses, uh, overall total expenses that we have. Yeah, we really don't right. know how much it costs. We're still seeing stuff on the visa bill. <laughs> <laughs> So here yeah. you'll see day one and day two up to day, uh, what's it, ten. day 10. Yeah. So right now it's just going to be the summary of where we went, how much, etc., to kind of help you plan your trip. Yeah. Speaking of Vegas, you need to find out where you're going to put or be in the hotel that has a monorail. Yeah, because yeah. if you're planning to be in Vegas for a few days, guys, make sure that the hotel you're staying at is it's close, to the, it's close to the monorail system. Uh, I booked it in Flamingo, which I should have not. Um, yeah, I will tell you later on where we the booked. Flamingo was leaving. okay, yeah. but now, it, it was it was okay, but you have to pay for parking. Yeah, you had to pay eighteen dollars eighteen dollars a day. I think it was eighteen dollars a day to park. I think eighteen dollars a day to park. Yeah. We did check in early, which. It was only a couple 20, of hours. Yeah, so twenty dollars. So twenty dollars check, early check-in fee. Yeah. Um, that's why. The, that's the only reason why we paid our uh, early check-in. I think that's one of the reasons why, because we have a set time to go to win, and I think we have to be there about three thirty. Yeah, 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 we have plenty of time. We could have, we, we could have went to the buffet first or the hotel, but, but yeah. it was better going to the hotel, yeah, get ready, get settled and, and stuff. Yeah, so, and buying. Um, what was it? A ten dollar bottle of water a piece? <laughs> yeah. We were thirsty. We went, we we obviously we didn't go buy any place to pick up any water. That's the thing. If you're going to Vegas, if you're in a car, go to CVS, Walmart, or someplace and grab some water if you drink water, which is how we drink yeah. most of these water. Yeah. Grab some water because at the hotel it's was it ten dollars? At the strip. Well, in your in, yeah on the strip in your oh, hotel. Yeah. Uh, but I think it was. Like five dollar and twenty five cents. It was a it's sixteen ounce it was probably, bottle. Of no, I water. think it was bigger than that. Like twenty four ounce bottle. It's twenty four ounce oh, bottle, so it's, it's almost six dollars a bottle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's so there's a CVS was, close by, but we yeah, don't know was, how much the water yeah. cost there. Anyways. Yeah. So it that's later on. It wouldn't be as expensive as a hotel. Yes. They're making money. They're making big money. Yes. So you know, I forgot that we have to pack. Uh, let's talk about what you need to pack too. So this is these are the bags that we got, and you can show them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, it helps so much and it's very light it's compact it's not very bulky very it's big kind of oh they call it camel pack. yeah it's kind of a camel pack there's a camel pack is a brand yeah but no they have a water bladder in them yeah. so it has like a little tube that comes over your shoulder if you're interested in buying that same bag you know the, the link is in the description and below. they also have storage like when you're out hiking you can put your bars in there you can put extra bottle of water if you need it you can yeah. put yeah, it came with uh, strings that you, so you can attach your camera, your tripod, your walking stick, etc. Which is kind of nice because I think ours holds maybe two liters of water yeah. a piece. So more than enough for us to go on a hike. I mean, we didn't, we didn't go on any eight or ten hour hikes. Our longest hike was probably uh, two, two to three hour hike and we, we did it in a little less than two hours. So maybe two hours and 30 to 45 minutes and we had plenty of water. Yeah. But also the temperature was wonderful. Our temperature, uh, most of our hikes were between... 60 and 70 to 75 degrees yeah. so yeah, yeah so was, we're all over the place yeah we're all over the place yeah, so it. stop right there because i think because we were all over the place we forgot to talk about the rest of what else to pack so the next thing that you need to uh, pack is this vitamin container that i found in amazon again i put the link below this is a very compact where you can put all of your vitamins or anything that you wanted to take with you during your trip. So it really came in handy and it's in a compact case. Another thing that you need to pack is those hand gloves. Um, another thing that you need to bring, especially if you're going hiking, is your walking sticks. And they were very helpful while we were um, hiking. Yeah, they have different types of uh, walking poles, I think is what you call them. They're very lightweight and very compact. They come uh, with different colors for men and women. And uh, I think you should get them. Another thing to pack is warmers. And uh, they are nice materials. They can handle up to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. They're both for men and women. So you can uh, choose what colors and uh, what size you have. This 
is not really needed for the trip, but it is very nice to organize your luggage with. Um, I found them on Amazon. I love them. They organize your luggage. It came with eight sets of bags um, that you can use in your luggage. Whatsoever that you wanted to pack and it will keep your luggage organized. Okay, and what else did I uh, look for on Amazon? Um, those beanies. So when we are going to a um, state that is really cold, I wanted to buy and use, uh, be able to use them. So another thing that is very, very important to pack is saline solution. So that is very helpful, especially in a very, very dry place. We are Floridian and we are so used to humidity and saline solution help, especially me. If I don't spray saline solution and if I go to out west or somewhere dry, my nose started to bleed. Another thing, uh, it's a humidifier. It's a very compact humidifier. You can bring it in your car, your room, but we used this this whole week while we were up there uh, in our car while driving. And you can tell if <laughs> once the humidifier shuts off, I, we can tell that there's no humidity in the air and this, this Floridian started to complain about nothing, no moisture. So I think you should bring one of this. It's very compact and it's very cheap. Uh, it's not very cheap. It, it is affordable on Amazon. I included the link below and I think you will love it too. Okay, another thing, and it's not needed to go hiking, but it organized our, our luggage. Um, we brought this toboggan or this uh, jacket that is really, really foamy. And so I bought this vacuum seal bag. Oh, it creates more room in luggage. And another thing, I think last but not the least, another thing that you need to pack is uh, the sweater. Um, I know we didn't get to use ours, but that is really important to pack, especially if you're going to a cold weather, is uh, the sweater. I didn't get to put it in the visual aid. And that's what we think that you need to pack um, and to use when you go travel. So let's go back to our trip. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right, okay. So first things first, you know, how much is the flight? So we trip book it with hotwire.com and the flight expenses and the car rental. And it's through Alamo, right? I wanted to make sure that you know where you're going, you know, the trip. So I booked a, uh, the buffet. <laughs> So the buffet that we went to is Wynn Buffet. So in our first day that we went, you know, we know that we're going to be in Vegas about, what, 11, 11 o'clock in the afternoon or in the morning? Yeah, somewhere like that. Somewhere like that. Uh, it's around lunchtime. So we thought about go ahead and book our uh, buffet trip to Wynn, which is uh, about $64 a person. Yeah, 65 bucks. $4.99. Uh, and I noticed that on their website, they want you, if you don't want it to fall in line and wait long, you can go ahead and pay ahead. You can make reservations. Yeah, you yeah, don't have to make reservations, reason. but um, our wait time was, what, 10 minutes maybe? Yeah, not yeah. even. And it was kind of early too. We got there early, but it was still, we really had to wait. There was two different lines. If you had reservations, you got into this line on the right. If you didn't, you got into the other line on the left, which, I mean, we were there pretty early. I don't think people had to wait very long, but, yeah. you know, it was... We yeah, you're thinking you're hungry, but there's so many food to choose from, and it's hard to not to eat it all. Well, you can't, you, you know, <laughs> um, there's so much food that you can't you can't eat every, everything you want to eat. Yeah. I mean, you know, the crab legs were good. Um, I'm going to jump ahead. The crab legs were better at the back end, although they were at the win. Okay. A yeah. lot better. A lot yeah, better. so we'll have that video as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we did. We went to win and you know, you see the food and all that stuff because we never put that on the table. So that's our dinner slash or lunch slash dinner. Yeah, that was the first night. That was on the fifth. Yeah, that's our first night. So we we kind of planned that. We want to make sure we know what we're going to do. We, we've we been to Vegas before and uh, we, we don't want to walk uh, down the strip. But, you know, if you guys have not been to Vegas, uh, more than welcome to uh, see the land lights. And, um, so that was our first night in Vegas. We just can't keep rambling. I know. We can't keep rambling. So uh, that's our first night in Vegas. Now, the second day... We, uh, we went to Donuts. We went to here's the donut, donut place. Uh, yeah. we, we saw this in uh, one of the YouTubers. Yeah, and it was... Um, it Mark, was, it was, Matthew. I mean, it was, it was good it's donuts, okay. but it was a very small, not many... Don't, I guess they don't have that good a selection of donuts. 
There's a lot of selection of donuts. No. We just don't know what to buy. We there's a donut place here in in Florida, and I'm sure it's probably all over the country. It's a chain, but it's called Donut King, and they have tons of donuts. Yeah. I mean, tons and all different kinds. A lot more than this place had. Yeah. But anyway. But yeah. Um, we, well, the reason why we went here is because uh, one of the YouTubers yeah. kind of, you know, so here's the place. And it's and supposed to be a really nice place, yeah. to get a place to eat. And we went and got donuts that morning, and we went out to Valley, Valley of Fire. Valley of Fire. Yeah. So that's... And, was, and see, that's just right outside of Vegas. It's maybe what? An hour. An 45 hour? minutes We're going to an hour. An hour. Yeah. So it's, it was pretty warm. It, was, it got up to 90, like 2 degrees that day. So, and there's not a whole bunch of trees. 93. Yeah, 92, 93 degrees. And it was... Um, it was it was a nice hike, but it was it was a little warm. And make sure you bring a lot of water and of course sunblock if you're going to be hiking in around yeah. 93 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. Yeah. So that's our second day in Vegas. And guess what? What? Oh, when we come back, back and all. yeah, and uh, back and all, yeah, back and all. Back and so all. here's the buffet, and yeah, that's what we went. That's where we went for dinner. It's a back and all buffet in Vegas. Definitely it's liked it better than the wind. The wind. Yeah, the crab um, legs were really good. The crab legs were big. Mm -hmm. They were really big. Um, they had lobster claws there. They had everything. I mean, yes. they, they had everything. You, you can't. You just yeah, can't do it all. You here's the video on that, and uh, we'll we'll talk more about that. You go around and you pick pick up things, and yeah, and because you just you get full too. You have too old now. Yeah. So here's the thing. If you wanted to go there, make sure you book it. Yeah, we booked, you booked that ahead of time. Yes, I had I booked, I booked that two months ahead of time. Yeah, two because months. I think you need to make sure that you can get in. So make sure you booked it two to three months ahead of time. And you booked it or reserve it through Open Table. You just Google Back and All Buffet and then make reservations through Open Table. You can make a membership or you don't have to, but as long as you book it. And we didn't, uh, we had to wait at least 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know if we made it 10 minutes. Cause yeah, because there's a separate line. Yeah, there was two different lines. Between the waiting room and uh, wait, the wait time, no reservation, and the wait the yeah. line if you make yeah. a reservation. And you pay it there. So after you make a reservation, uh, when you fall in line, it'll, they'll show you where to pay. And make sure your credit card knows that you're going to be in Vegas, paying $212 for oh, yeah. dinner. <laughs> Because oh, yeah. it's going to get the climb. Make sure you bring it, two or it, three credit was, cards. Was it tip added? What was it, 200 because of tax? Yeah, it's tax. Um, we'll talk more about that later on on another Sweet. video. Tell you how good it is in the back and out buffet. Yeah. So that was dinner. And then we went back to our place. Yeah. Day three in our west. <clears throat> so day three, we check out our Flamingo Hotel. Uh, then we went to Carl's Jr. So yeah, we just we're just, I don't yeah, know, we just I don't it was like a three like a three year and a half three and a half hours drive drive from from Vegas to Canal. Canal, Utah. Yeah, and that's where we stayed. It's kind of centrally located to wherever we were going. We went to like three or four different places, and it was between an hour to an hour and a half. Which is and it turned out fine. I mean, driving out there is there's like there's no traffic. Yeah. There's no traffic. I mean, it's all two-lane roads mostly, but, you know. I think when you're planning your trip out west, especially if you're going to Zion or Bryce or Grand, Grand Canyon. Canyon and stuff, what helped me the best is looking at the map. Um, it kind uh, of tells me, you know, where is the closest place to like stay Google, at. Like Google Earth. Google, yeah, Google Earth see, or Google You can Map. see uh, Zion and Bryce and Grand Canyon, and you can kind of see where you might want to stay. Yes. There's not a whole bunch of towns out there, so that's right. You know, you either stay in the town of the place you're going to, or yeah. you drive an hour down. That's right. And like I said before, it's not that bad to drive. Excuse for me. me. I mean, it yeah. wasn't that big deal. Yeah, and you know, because we've seen because it was cold in the morning, so I didn't want to be, be there too early. Yeah. So and was, in some videos that we've seen, you know, they either stayed at Hurricane, 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 which is right outside of the, um, Zion, not yeah. too far from Zion. Virgin. Page. Page. Page was outside of. No, not Page. Oh yeah, Page. Page is on outside. the other side, Page further is, down. It was near Arizona. It's near Arizona. Arizona. No, it's Grand near Canyon? Arizona. Yeah, it's near Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. We didn't and, say that. Yeah, and you know that's the thing. If you wanted to do the tour, you know, either stay there or somewhere else but you know and some people they stayed at springdale which is closer to zion mm -hmm. um but i think it's too expensive there well, or further, i think it's it's further kind of from, expensive it's further from some other places but yeah it's further from some other yeah. places but if you're just planning to go to zion you know you can stay at springdale so yeah. we stayed at Kanab, and what i like about it is 
the hotel we're staying at, which is is it Holiday Inn Hotel. Uh, I was choosing between La Quinta, La Quinta, La Quinta, or Holiday Inn, and I'm glad I chose Holiday. Inn. There was a few hotels in that little town. It's a small town, but it was really a it was very nice, nice yeah. town. It was yeah. clean. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Um, it was, it was really nice. Closer to a lot of really uh, nice. places, restaurants, and all that. And, and what do we have in the mornings? We have free breakfast. Right. Yes. And that is the reason why I chose Holiday Inn. That saved, that saved, saved us money. a lot of money. Because what we, I like. We also would take stuff for lunch. We'd take stuff off the bar and take it for lunch. So yes. we didn't have, we had free breakfast. Well, it wasn't free. It says you pay it's, for it. Yeah. And, 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 but you had breakfast and you could take a little lunch with you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I think that. it's pretty reasonable because here's the price of our stay from uh, Thursday, Friday night. Friday night? Yeah. Uh, Friday. Friday night till, till no, Thursday night. Sorry, Thursday. No, Friday night. Sorry. Yeah, Friday night. Friday morning. Yeah, so we stayed there Friday night until yeah. Thursday morning. So yeah. we were there for seven days. And since I booked it early enough, uh, I put, you know, it's our anniversary, and we got the room that has the jacuzzi, or, yeah, and it's very nice, and I think it's the only room that has uh, the jacuzzi, and so that, I got, we got lucky So, so that. it's quite a bit, well, I don't know how big the rooms are, but I would assume that it was quite a bit bigger than the other rooms, because it's almost like a, an extra Sweet. little spot that goes out. Yeah, and, and that's and what it, it looks yeah, like. It was yeah. nice. And I like the jacuzzi, because, I mean, I didn't think about it, but after you hike, you kind of wanted to... So into an Epsom so bath. So uh, yeah, I really like the, the place. And plus, there is this lady that we really like. She is the one that takes care of us in the morning at breakfast time. So her name is Rachana. Rachana, she's from Taiwan, Thailand. She Laos. Where's she from? Was she Vietnamese? Was she Vietnamese or was she? So when I okay okay, let's talk about a little bit more about the breakfast. What we like about the breakfast is it has some like good hot stuff. It's not just like well yeah they had they had scrambled eggs they had uh, cheese and egg yeah got well egg egg, and, egg. Omelet, egg and cheese omelet but it was just a piece of cheese in the middle of it yeah and they had sausage sausages either links or patties, patties. and then they ended up having they had uh, bread they had bagels they had bread they had. Muffins. Pancakes. They had a cool pancake maker. We should have. We should have videoed. Yeah.